see, that's another one. All right. Senor! the best way to kind of approach this from outside. Look at the size of this place. Apparently there's a, this is a hospital that's been put out here. And uh, I have to be careful because a lot of bodies were found out here. Sometimes people will get killed and they would bring them out here to hide the bodies. So tonight, you guys to record this place and seeing what I can get. Hopefully not killed. I just scared myself. I think that was the wind. It's really windy in here. I'm gonna save the last floor for last for now, but I think I'm gonna go upstairs and see what I can get. So the thing is I have to be extremely careful because I don't know if there's any homeless people sleeping in the back, back here, or inside this place. This place is huge. Again, this is a hospital. Now, there's been a lot of talk, but not a lot of people know why they put the Star of David. I don't know if they know what they're doing or not, but it's not really, it's a kind of a Jewish sign. That, on the other hand, could be something else. You guys let me know what that is. I don't know what that is, but that's the Jewish Star of David. God dang. I keep hearing things moving around me. It's throwing me off. Look at this. switch into my camera so you guys can see better I'm just gonna use my flashlight because it's too dark here is the second floor I'll be checking that next the dust here is messing with my nose I definitely should have brought a mask What concerns me actually is the basement. It looks creepy as hell. I'm now making my way to the second floor. I just heard something. I think some hearing noises down there too. I don't like this place only because it's right here out in the open so you got a lot of noises 
going on from the inside. Well, that's the signs of evidence of somebody making a fire here. And that goes back to the outside. I did hear what sounded like a creepy howling sound. more distant now. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything out here. I'm pretty sure that's coming from the basement. At this point now, I'm gonna see if I can make my way to what I think is the most creepiest location here, is gonna be the basement. Um, the basement's where I'm hearing the majority of the noise. I thought I was hearing it from the second or the first floor, but um, I think it's echoing from the basement. Hopefully I don't encounter anyone. Um, I don't know about paranormal activity. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. I'm still gonna use my equipment, seeing what I can catch. Let's go to the basement. It's an axe, so if they try to give me problems, I just go their hearts out and eat it in front of them. I'm kidding. It's more like a deterrent. I may still run. I'm checking the entrances here. Alright. Now for the basement. Making it down. And it is dark. And it sounds like it's getting quieter going down here. And colder. Holy shit. One us? Buenas. Holy shit. I am shaking right now. I don't want my light too bright because I think it's visible from the outside and that's what's got me um, nervous pretty much. I just switched over to night vision. I want to see if I can see any light. I can't see anything. Only a little door at the very end but no shadow.
señor. Tú eres seguridad. So I had to turn around. I had to turn around because I have security behind me. And uh, I guess they just kicked me out. Seems like they're yelling throughout the whole place. I would like to bribe them, but... I literally have a whole bunch of people in there just looking for the flashlights. I now left. I just made it back to the car. Um, we're heading out of here. Unfortunately, I wanted to stay more and do more of an investigation. But again, like I said in the beginning, that location was extremely dangerous. The location I'm in is extremely dangerous. I had a man run out and I got shot at. I didn't get hit, but he, he, he shot something. I don't, it looked like he had like a, like, I don't even know what he had. All I saw was like a shadowy silhouette of a man yelling. At first, I thought it was uh, probably a crazy guy or something, but um, no, I tried to talk with him, but he wouldn't let me talk. I didn't want to film him. I didn't want to, he already had that gun pointed at me. It looked like a rifle or a shotgun, I think, but it didn't sound like a shotgun. It wasn't pretty loud. It could have been also something else, but um, I tried to talk with him, but I, I couldn't get anything out of him. He just wanted me to go, so I started walking, and he even told me to stop shining my flashlight, so I turned it off. Thank God for my friend here. He's He was there to pick me up. Uh, he's my ride back in there. Uh, he heard the gunshot go off too. He thought I was done, but I wasn't. Anyway, that being said, thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys liked what you've seen. Sorry, it was abrupt. I kept shaking the camera a lot. I was, I was nervous. I was ready to fight or flight. Um, but once I saw a gun on him, then I realized I could have probably been security or, or whatever. I still don't even know what that was or who that was. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.